Hello, I am Bats10v2, and for my first ever video I'm making, I'm going to do a toy review of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Dragon Sword. So, uh, let's start. Now, you've all seen it. If you're watching this, you're probably a Power Rangers fan, and I'm assuming that you've seen the toy plenty of times before. Uh, so I'm not going to go into all the little details about the toy. I'm just going to tell you uh, kind of the general problems I've had with it, that I know other people have had with it, that apparently the toy reviewers on YouTube ignore. Yeah. So, let's start with this. Problem number one. The decals. No, I'm not going to go off about the inaccuracies to the show. As much as they bug me, that's not a problem for me. Because this was... They already had the stickers from the Japanese version. And I'm pretty sure copyright issues came into play with that. So, uh, the problem I have with the stickers is that they don't like to stay on in some of the places. And I think maybe painting it or having, like, the plastic just be a different color at that part would have probably done better for them. But apparently, they didn't have the money to do it, or they didn't want to, so, uh, yeah, it's not just, uh, okay, let me, let me, uh, show you the stickers that have the problem, uh, the biggest problem, the biggest, uh, sticker problem is right here, this piece, this sticker both sides. Uh, let me show you. That side. Now. That side. Those two sides? Yeah, they have. They don't stick. Um. This is probably, this might just be a problem only I've had, that only my brother have had that only our friends have had, but it it doesn't stick unless you go at it with a toothpick, which is what I've had to done, which even that, you can't tell in the video, but there's a couple creases on the sticker because of that, that kind of ticked me off. And then the other sticker problems are on the fingers, it, like there, you can probably just barely make out the problem I'm having. Let me show you it from the top angle. That one, now that one. Yeah, you can see the problem that develops. Uh, I really think stickers there was an unwise choice. Uh, I mean, they just as easily could have made little ducts in the yeah. finger for it, or they could have uh, the the ducts would have the ducts would have uh, really made the toy stand out. Or they could have just as easily painted it on. I mean, there's a number of things they could have done to make the toy really stand out. Uh, another problem that I have is that the tail, like the drill part of it, it's pretty damn easy to break off. Like, if, you, if you're a little kid and you're trying to get it to spin, I mean, I... It didn't happen with mine because I got mine when I was an adult. But uh, my brother had one, and I—he's kind of never forgiven me for this. 
but I kind of accidentally broke off the drill while trying to get it to spin really fast. So, yeah. That's... Uh, the drill... This, the being able to spin it was a really neat idea. But I think they probably could have had it, like, electronically spin so that the kids aren't going to break it. Or put bearings in it. Or put bearings in it, like my brother just pointed out. And that probably would have made the toy a lot more durable. I mean, there, there's a number of different fixes they could have done for that. Uh, another problem I kind of have with it that I understand, though, is the articulation for it. Uh, mostly, it's that when you, like, on the wrists, if you go to move them in any direction other than straight, the, it looks like his hand broke off. Yeah, see that? That looks like his hand is only connected by like a tendon or two. But that's really for the transformation. So I don't hold it against the toy. Uh, the other one that might be a problem is the knee. Like the knee looks like it's being if you bend it at all, it kind of looks like it's uh, broken off as well. But, uh, all in all, for a transforming toy, the Power Rangers Zords have always been high quality. Uh, except, I think, Turbo, or a couple of the other later series. But really, the early ones, and even some of the newer ones... Like, uh, I've seen reviews for the Jungle Fury Zords, and I have to admit that they kind of are good. Another good one was Wild Force. Whether you like the series or not, the Zords were pretty well made. So, uh, final comments on this is the drill could have used a better system for spinning uh, motor or bearings and the stickers could have easily been replaced with a different method in parts that they should have known were gonna be a problem for kids but uh yeah those are the major complaints I've always had that I've never seen any reviewer ever address so this ends my video and i hope you uh stay tuned because i'm probably gonna make another review in a couple minutes